Hi everyone, today I wanted to present you with eight ways that you can advance your event planning career. I realized that in the past few years, we've had a large turnover of event planners. We've had many event planners just retire in the last few years. They've had the opportunity to do that. And then we have other event planners that may be stepping into new roles and doing something new and exciting. But then we also have a different event planner um, gap that's there that's being filled with new planners. They're coming in and they're stepping out to the plate and joining this exciting industry um, in event planning. So it's been really great. So there's so much opportunity and there's so much um, a thirst for wanting to figure this out. How do I advance my event planning career? And what are the steps that I need to do to get there? So I'm super excited about this video. But before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about me and introduce myself. I'm Naomi Tucker. I am an event professional turned high performance coach. And I really work with ambitious leaders like yourself to help them build time effective and leadership strategies so that they can manage their many commitments and love the lives they lead. I empower them to be a planner on purpose. So again, super excited about this episode, regardless of where you are in your career, if you're new, if you're a veteran, hopefully they will have some bits in here for you to chew on so that you can help yourself to advance and reach towards the stars. So let's get to it. The first way that you can advance your event planning career is to learn something new. Learn something new in your current role or your position. And how this can happen is you can always just raise your hand when opportunities do come up. There's always opportunities, there's always activities that are within an organization that leaders really need for their um, employee base to step up and to be a part of the change that's happening. And if you do raise your hand, it gives you the opportunity to be exposed to different, um, different things, different uh, activities and um, opportunities. Perhaps it's even a leadership role for you or leading a project. So definitely, if it's something that you're interested in, raise your hand and sign yourself up. You can also go on site for other programs that other event professionals have. Perhaps they need some additional people on site. If you go, you can um, definitely be exposed to maybe how they plan, how they operate, and other people within your organization that you can learn from too. Have a conversation with your leader um, and let them know that you are looking to level up. You're looking to learn something new. Maybe if you have an idea on what that is, let them know so they can help you appropriately career path for yourself. One thing that worked for me is always raising my hand to help my fellow employees or help my fellow coworkers, and then also to um, just really help out my leadership. It's always helped and I've always been able to learn different things. And perhaps uh, that was a stepping stone to my next thing. So definitely go ahead, learn something new in your role and in your job. Now, the second way to advance your career is to get go back to school and get some type of a certificate for you going to school or learning something that you want to learn. There are so many great programs that are out there for events, whether you're wanting to get your digital event certificate or a speaking certificate or just basic event planning certificate. Go ahead and search out those programs, sign yourself up for one, don't forget to look at your technical colleges because they have some amazing programs available for your technical colleges and perhaps sign up for those programs too. There's always meeting and event management programs at certain um, colleges, whether it be technical or some local universities. Take a look to see if that is an option for you. And then also look at the hospitality programs too, which is a really great offering. They may have some different uh, classes that also may have some event professional um, kind of essence to them, but hospitality runs through everything that we do. So even getting a hotel or hospitality certificate would be 
really a great supplement to you to you so i currently teach at a technical college and i love it and the students have been amazing and many of the students are already in roles in the event management program and they're just looking to supplement this degree and help it boost their career and it definitely does it helps them to stand apart from others and it's such a great option if you want to advance your career all right, so the third one that I have for you is to volunteer for an industry organization. I can't speak highly enough about volunteering. Volunteering, there, there's so many organizations to choose from. For me, myself, I currently volunteer with MPI, with my local chapter and with the um, with um, the greater international chapter, but that's called Meeting Professionals International. But you don't have to choose that particular organization. There are other organizations. There's PCMA, there's there's NACE, there's, there's so many others. You can definitely Google meetings industry organizations and see what works for you. Take a look at some of the benefits and see if it's in alignment with what you're currently doing and the types of programs that you're currently planning and definitely show up there. Now they have usually so many benefits that include relationship building, also include education and programming, um, and then just visibility for you to be visible in the industry is very important for that too. So I really enjoy it. Uh, you also, if you are a student, can get some really great benefits in terms of a discount to actually be a part of that organization. And that's really cool because who doesn't love a good discount? So uh, definitely look at that. Um, I can't speak highly enough on how much I've grown and learned and gained so many friendships from being part of an industry organization. So I would also say that that's a wonderful way to advance your career. The next thing I would like for you to consider is develop a relationship with others in an area that you want to grow. So you can look at the areas where you are looking to be. So if you're an event professional and you're looking to plan different types of programs, perhaps you want to get more into web design, perhaps you want to lead, then I would say surround yourself with the people in that particular area and they can help mentor you, guide you, or just be a friend that you can lean on and ask questions. That's really important. And that is also where volunteer organizations can also help because you can develop different relationships with different people. I suggest that you get a diverse uh, relationship of support. And this is just meaning that people that have different, um, it, it, they're not all in one place, right? So they're not necessarily at your particular work or job. Perhaps you are a part of an industry organization and you have some folks there. Perhaps there's a local organization, maybe a professional organization for locals um, in your area. Maybe that's an another area to network and grow. Be well-rounded in the support that you get because you never know where your next opportunity is going to come from. So definitely develop relationships and don't put your eggs in one basket. The next thing I would say is get certified in your specific area of planning. Um, there are so many certifications that are out there and these are specific certifications that give you a designation in a particular thing. For example, the certified meeting professional designation. That is something that I am a I am. So I am a CMP. And that is something that I have the qualifications for and took the test and continue to be recertified every five years for me to hold that designation. But you do have other designations too, like the Certified Association Executive, the Event Planning Specialist Certification, Digital Event Strategist Certification. There are so many others. So I would say if there is an area that you're looking at gaining a certification for and a designation for, do your research and definitely go towards obtaining that. It will certainly set you apart. Now, if you are a person that really wants to look into the CMP, the Certified Meeting Professional, and you're ready to go and you're doing some studying, I would just offer you to consider my CMP study group. It's a group that meets right now twice a year. Uh, you can go to plannersonpurpose.com backslash CMP to learn more, but it's a five-week study group that I will walk you through studying and getting your CMP. It's a group 
program and you'll have accountability and support and you get to engage and network with other event professionals. So if that is an area that you're looking at, I would just say go ahead and consider it. Now, the next one is to get into management or strategy. I know we all like to do event planning and it's and it's fun and it has benefits, although there's lots of hard work there. However, have you ever considered doing management or strategy? Because that's an area that you can also boost your career as well. So look into working with specific accounts, perhaps helping an account with their strategic me meetings management program. Those are some areas that you can help support. Perhaps you're leading a specific area or type of meetings. Maybe you're an incentive you know, program manager where other planners are looking up to you. Um, help lead other planners plan their events. That is definitely needed, especially now where we have so many people transitioning. Such a great area of opportunity right now in the event planning space. So definitely if you feel like stepping into some higher leadership is in management is what you are called to do. Have that discussion with your leadership and just step right in. Next, I would say it's just a note for my entrepreneurs. So we have entrepreneurs that you're starting out and perhaps you're a solopreneur or maybe you do have a small team and maybe you're looking at scaling and advancing your career in the types of meetings and events that you plan or perhaps your visibility in the space right now i would just suggest that you take a look at your portfolio of events and those that you do work with and really do some visioning on where do you, you see yourself are there specific other types of events that you want to get into? Do you want to get into conference management? Do you want to get into um, more corporate? Take a look at that and look at what your portfolio is and really what, work on a strategy in order to get you different types of clients to broaden that portfolio for yourself. So it's, it's going to be some work, but it's definitely something that you can do. And that work will transition into marketing plan and transition into other areas where you can support what vision you have laid out for your business. So if you are an entrepreneur, you can definitely take an advantage of scaling your business and advancing your career as well. So take the opportunity to do that. And lastly, I have have a growth mindset. I know it's not necessarily a tangible um, way as the others, but it definitely is important. It's so important what your mindset is. And instead of it being fixed where you're just fixed in a narrow vision for your life and your career, and you always feel like you're going to be in the same place. And, you know, you just kind of go down that cycle of that doesn't lead you anywhere. Have a growth mindset where you're expansive and that you're considering growth and you're considering advancement and always have that glimmer in your eye on what the next thing is for yourself. So always focus on learning, always focus on growing. If you do get an opportunity to learn and to grow, accept it and adjust and continue to move forward. Be open to opportunity and open to new ideas and always contribute and find out ways to expand and grow. That's what we're here to do. So I really hope that you enjoyed this and it supports you in being more intentional about your career. And if you need some support in getting from step A to step Z when it comes to advancing, I would love to consider jumping on a call with you to see if we are a good fit for any one-on-one -on -one coaching. So please reach out. Until next time, I would just say stay on purpose.